The post-pandemic period coupled by the global impact of the Russia-Ukraine war is placing significant pressure on member countries of the Eastern Caribbean Currency Union and requires appropriate actions by governments, private sector, workers' unions, households and civil society, according to Timothy Antoine, the governor of the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank. Governor Antoine was speaking recently at an event of the ECCU Monetary Council. While the Eastern Caribbean dollar remains strong at a backing of 92%, Antoine said the Monetary Council has been meeting at a time of unprecedented challenge and complexity. High and persistent inflation, along with the slowing global economy and possible global recession, would have significant impact on the sub-regional economy. As a consequence, he said, collective action will be required. A call for collective action because where risks abound, opportunities also abound. The pressure on all sectors and all social partners are real and mounting. Our current situation demands a coming together at all levels, households, communities, countries, nationally, regionally, and internationally. We've seen some things we've never seen in terms of inflation, for example. We have now to come together. Now is the time for our social partners, governments, labor unions, business, civil society, including our youth and our churches, to engage in meaningful dialogue about shared sacrifices to weather the current inflation storm. At this time, unilateral demands by partners, be they businesses or labor unions, are unhelpful and will simply make a bad situation worse. On our vulnerable households and businesses, now is also not the time for price gouging by unscrupulous operators. However, Governor Antoine believes the transformation in the sub-region is possible through imagination and determination. I make a special appeal to our member countries for urgent enactment of pending legislation, as this, frankly, is our single biggest strategic risk. The pace of our transformation is in our hands because I believe we must do for ourselves what we can do for ourselves. And we must simply give ourselves a fighting chance to survive and thrive in a global economy that often treats our small countries as invisible, disposable, and of no consequence. I conclude, ladies and gentlemen, we must navigate this period with a sense of imagination, determination, and yes, collective action. Our ultimate goal, transformation. Now is the time for forward-looking and leaning governments, citizens, and institutions. I hail our council members for your proactive actions which you have taken throughout this period to protect lives and secure livelihoods and for your demonstrated regional solidarity. The recent pandemic and geopolitical confrontations have threatened the foundations of global economies and how they impact small island developing states. Glenn Bart reporting for SK Newsline.